And I swear guys, just try these five things at home and I swear you'll see a huge improvement with your skin without having to go see a dermatologist or facialist. Hey guys, it's Sue here. Welcome back to my channel. And oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited for today's video. I can't wait to share with you guys. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five tips that you can follow at home using skincare products to really, really level up your skin. Skin. Like my skin's living her best life right now. Not only does she look good, but she feels good. Like she feels healthy. So just to give you guys a little background information, last year I was going through a rough time with my skin. Um, she was hurting. My skin barrier was extremely damaged, and I would like feel this tightness, dryness. No matter what I would apply onto my skin, it was disastrous. So last year I made it my year long goal to really, really improve my skin barrier. And I did, I'm so proud of myself. And I swear guys, just try these five things at home and I swear you'll see a huge improvement with your skin without having to go see a dermatologist or facialist, I promise. Before we start, let me share with you guys my skin type. I do have combination skin. I have oily T-zone and I have very extremely dry sensitive cheek areas. Not only do I go through dryness, but also dehydration, which is a result of weakened skin barrier. The first thing is to change up your cleansing routine depending on how your skin condition is. This is the tip that helped the most to recover my skin. So here's something that's really important. Cleansing routines in skincare is of course an important step, but it's also a step that can do most damage to your skin. You're using all of these products with surfactants, emollients that's going to strip off a lot of the moisture and hydration that you already have in, on your skin. As a matter of fact, I had a friend with extremely sensitive skin and she was someone who swore by double cleansing. And of course she went to the dermatologist. She went to see a specialist one day, I believe. And the specialist told her to stop double cleansing because that is what is making your skin super sensitive. That just goes on to show you that the wrong cleansing routine for your skin can do more damage than help. So I know a lot of people have fixed cleansing routines. I used to do too. Y'all know I used to swear by my cleansing oils. That was like the only cleansing category that I used to use. I loved how it was an all-in-one. It used to break down my really, really waterproof mascara, my base makeup, my SPF. However, I felt like with time, these cleansing oils were too stripping for my skin. And I truly thought that perhaps the cleansing oils was what was really, really making my skin weak. And so what I did was I I stopped wearing base makeup for the later six months of last year. If you guys watch my videos then, you guys can see I have no base makeup on, only lip and eye. And I started using cleansing milks. Now cleansing milks are generally considered more gentle and are recommended to those who have more sensitive and dry skin type. And having used cleansing oils for so many years, I can say for sure cleansing milks are so, they feel so much more gentle on my skin. Here's a little incident that I would like to share with you guys. So last year, like I said, I was using, I switched up to using cleansing milks and one day I was just feeling so, so lazy that I just decided to use a cleansing oil to remove all of my makeup. That day, I think I specifically had makeup, but after cleansing my skin with cleansing oil, my skin felt so tight, so drying, so stripping. I actually gasped. I was like, damn, you're rubbing my skin off of hydration. And so that's when I really truly realized that cleansing milks are so much more gentle for your skin. So the cleansing milk that I've been using is the Dewy Tree High Amino All Cleansing Milk. I've already shown this product to you guys in a lot of my past videos, but this legit feels like using a lotion to remove my SPF or whatever I may have left on my skin. Now, of course, this doesn't do a good job in removing my lip and eye makeup, so I just use a regular lip and eye remover. On days when I do have full makeup on, I've opted to using more gentle cleansing oils, and the one that I'm using right now is a B Plain Greenful Cleansing Oil. Y'all know B Plain is such a gentle brand overall. They have really, really subtle products that's, that that makes it great for sensitive skin to use. So this is what I've been using instead. And once again, I'll just use a lip and eye remover if I do happen to have any makeup on. Also, I've started using this Real Barrier Cream Cleansing Foams. I've also mentioned this before that I never use cleansing foams. 
I also just used to think that they felt really too harsh on my skin. I never used to double cleanse. Even when I just used to use a cleansing oil, I just finished with the cleansing oil. I never finished up with the cleansing foam because that felt too drying and too stripping for my skin. This is a cream cleansing foam. And so this also feels like I'm cleansing my skin with cream. It feels really, really nourishing. I can't say that this is less stripping, but I guess for the whole experience, this is something that my skin can get on board with. So I've also recently been trying this out as well and, I, and it feels awesome on my skin to be honest. So make sure to really pay attention to how your skin's feeling that day and cater to what it needs. Use a cleansing foam, cleansing oil, or cleansing milk depending on how she feels like. Step number two is to really make sure to balance out the water fat balance of your skin. So as we get older, unfortunately, we start losing the natural oils, the natural fats of our skin, which is something natural, but it happens to the majority of us. And I don't think you guys realize this, but while there's so many skincare products that's full, filled with hydration, there's not that much that have a lot of that fatty, emollient, occlusive, moisturizing content. These products basically contain more occlusive, airtight, and moisturizing ingredients that really help lock in the hydration, the waters of our skin. And that's why I'm always on the hunt to find a really, really good emollient. So how can you tell a product has more oil content? First of all, you can look at the ingredient list. For the most part, I do try to find ingredients such as sunflower seed oil, avocado seed oil, squalane, fatty acids, linoleic acid, ceramides, etc. There's a bunch that you can check out. And in terms of formulation, basically these products contain formula that feels like barra. I've definitely used this description before to introduce some of my awesome favorite skincare products to you guys where I'm just like, ooh, this feels like barra or this melts like butter. So you really want to find formulas that feel oily for your skin if you're especially dealing with a lot of dryness, a lot of dehydration. And these products will definitely help you fill up the fat level of your skin and you will no longer feel that extreme dryness, that extreme tightness. And it will really, really just help out, make your skin feel really comfortable. This tip is especially helpful if you feel like your skin feels dry no matter what you apply onto your skin, no matter how many hydrating serums, hydrating essences you apply on your skin, your skin just feels tight. Now, two of the products that I'm very enjoying much right now. First, the You To The People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I recently reviewed this in my video and I absolutely love it and I am kicking myself for not getting the full product. This is like, once again, a buttery formula and it smells like a lemon buttered cake. Oh, and it just melts down really, really nicely on your skin, like butter. Oh yes, yes, my hand was feeling dry. Another part that I've been really enjoying, especially to use under my base makeup, is the Event Trixera Lotion Nutri Fluid. This is a lotion, once again, containing more occlusive and emollient ingredients, and this one will help a lot to balance out the water and fat levels of your skin. And I feel like this product does a particular better job in and balancing out that water fat level on your skin because it's not too fatty. I feel like this one, you definitely need to use a good old essence or hydrating serums to really balance it out. This one I feel like is 50-50, the water content, the fat content. Going over the third tip, after following these two steps where you fortified your skin barrier, but you're just quite not seeing a breakthrough with your skin. You know, you're not getting that glazed donut that you wanted. If that's your case, I highly recommend you guys to concentrate on exfoliating your skin. This was a personal realization that I had. I was using all of these great products. My skin barrier was fortified, but my skin was just looking dull. And that's when I realized I wasn't exfoliating my skin properly enough. So as you guys know, as we age, our skin cell turnover, rate slows down, which means it takes longer for our skin to get rid of those dead skin cells. And it's also the reason why our skin doesn't look as bright as it did when we were younger. And for the most part, I do recommend chemical exfoliation or physical exfoliation, just because I feel like physical exfoliation, because you're physically and actively forcing, putting pressure and force onto your skin, it does more damage than help 
in my case, especially because I have contact dermatitis. So I do recommend chemical exfoliation and I especially recommend this beautiful Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I am so late to the trade, but you know, hey, better late than never, right? And so many of you guys seem to love this as well. I had so many of my followers say, oh my gosh, Sue, I'm so happy for you that you finally got to try it out. And to be honest, I was like, the shame, Sue, the shame that it took me this long to finally use it. My skin has definitely seen a breakthrough using this product and nowadays I've been getting so many comments on wow what did you apply to on your skin like wow your skin looks really good especially nowadays I owe it to her so in terms of when you want to level up how your skin looks physically from the outside this is definitely a product you need to try if you haven't already and also I mentioned this before but if you're in Korea just remember that Paula's Choice their BHA product is not 2% it's 0.5% because of regulations, which I don't understand why. Why would you keep this beautiful product away from us? So for my Korean service, I'll link the Amazon link down below. You can still get it. Moving on to tip number four. And this is also a tip that will just level up your skin and wow everyone. Everyone will be like, oh my gosh, what did you apply on your skin? And it is to use vitamin C products. Now, as we all know, vitamin C not only is great for antioxidants, but also has a lot of brightening effects. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but one of the ways to really level up up with your skin is to give it a brighter even and glowing tone and I usually do prefer using vitamin C derivatives because not only do they feel more gentle on the skin but they also have a longer shelf life so here are two vitamin C products that I've been really really enjoying here I have the Laneige Radiant C cream I actually am sad that I didn't get to introduce this product more often in my videos because I have a lot of empties. So this is another empty. I'm almost done using this one as well. And here is an ample from Skin and Lab. This is also another, another great vitamin C derivative ample. And because both of them use derivatives, you can use them during the day with SPF of course, but they're not gonna break your skin out or irritate it whatsoever. For the last tip that I have is make sure to find your SOS skin skincare product whenever your skin's in emergency. So like I said, I get these breakouts from the frictions from the masks or whenever I work out intensively wearing masks. And to be honest, even though I know masks are so harmful for your skin, these, first of all, I I cannot not wear a mask when I leave the house, right? It's something I can't avoid. It's something I can't fix. And also, I don't want to give up working out, especially with my pole dance class. I love doing it. And so I still do it knowing that it will damage my skin. However, one thing that really reassures me whenever my skin's kind of going through a crisis with these masks is the fact that I have a go-to SOS product that will just calm and alleviate all of that condition which is, as you guys know, my good old Pyongyang New Coming Moisture Repair Bomb. I love this product because it heals my skin. It calms it down. And this was also another brilliant product that really helped fortify my skin barrier. I owe my life to this little buddy. And the thing is, this is so cheap. Yes. Now, once again, this product isn't the most elegant or the most, I guess, hot or hip. It's nothing like that. But at, but at the end of the day, it works. And that's all that matters to me at this point. So this product not only contains panthenol, C cup, but also squalane. And like I said, those are the ingredients that I do lean towards more. And because it is so pasty, it actually will linger there and help calm my skin down. So make sure to find your SOS product that you can apply whenever you need to. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy my five tips and I swear, guys, just try it out and see what happens. Trust the process. So make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!